What's up guys, Skid Rampage here. So today we're gonna be unboxing the new wave of One Piece Funko Pops. So let's check it out. All right guys, so today we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the new One Piece wave. And obviously I should have my One Piece hoodie on. And uh, these actually finally arrived from GameStop. A lot of international places and shops got them in. And a couple other places got them in. And GameStop took a while. They constantly kept delaying these orders uh, for all these One Piece pops. And I'm starting to see them come in on my Discord. Starting to see them come in on Instagram, the Facebook group. So it's really awesome. So comment down below right now if you finally got your One Piece pops or if you're still waiting on them. So this pop or this new wave actually does have, um, well, there's six pops here but it actually does have eight, technically. Well, I guess it's nine, because you have Sabo, Brook, Luffy, times two, then you also do have Crocodile, and then you have Gear 4 Luffy, um, and then you have Zoro, and then you have the Law, Trafalgar Law, and then the Chase. So there's like nine in this actual new wave, and then there's a bunch of other new rumored One Piece pops that are coming out soon, and you guys can check out some previous news videos if you want to see who those, those are, like Goldie Roger, Kaido, um, Yusis Kid, and more. So make sure to check out those videos, or it'll pop up somewhere right here in these little links. The long-awaited One Piece review is here, so stick around if you guys do want to check these out. I do want to say that there is going to be some some One Piece spoilers on different characters that I will be talking about because it is a review and I'm going to be talking about the characters and their devil fruits and things like that. So if you're not really big on spoilers, I recommend probably click, click, clicking off that character if you are not at that part yet or don't know that you know, person. So the first one we are going to be checking out, guys, is Luffy Taro here. And most of these guys are in their actual Wano outfits, which is from the Wano arc, which is really cool. So I did actually unbox recently the Metallic Luffy. We're going to take this one out briefly just to kind of do a side-by-side -side of the Metallic and non-Metallic. As well, guys, as I did do a separate, more involved um, review of Gear 4 Luffy, if you guys do want to check that out on the channel, it'll probably be linked up here too. So this is actually a really, really solid pop. Absolutely love the Metallic over the common person. Personally, but just to show you guys kind of the box and everything like that they actually did change the box uh, design of the new One Piece pops for anybody wondering that is the back with a few of the other characters there and um, this is number 921 in the wave and you have a Luffy there oh. Oh, on the side, it's kind of backwards. So guys, I actually misspoke, and what I meant to say is they actually went with the um, box design, because there's two different box designs, basically, is what I'm trying to say. There's like a more yellow one, and then there's like a darker one there, and they decided to go with the darker one versus the more yellow one, which is cool. So this is also Ace, for anybody who doesn't have Ace, if you want to see an up close of him. But anyways, let's take Luffy Taro out of the box here. Again, in his Wano outfit, he looks absolutely amazing, and we're going to be comparing it to the actual Hot Topic exclusive, which I I will grab he is right here and nothing different other than him just being metallic for anybody wondering but I wanted to do the side-by-side -side comparison anyways just to kind of show you guys this will probably be a little bit of a longer video so just sit back and enjoy but here he is there he is in his Wano outfit with his hair all tied up which is cool scar under the eye which looks amazing has his hand out kind of like that like he's in a fighting pose Sword on the back, or on the side, excuse me, and then also the straw hat on the back there. It's kind of focusing on my face a little bit, but straw hat on the back, which looks great. Love the red and blue in the actual, and then you can see the stitching too in the actual like kimono, which looks great. I like it. I think they did a good job. And the sword, I actually didn't notice this, is kind of has like a purple, gold, white, and uh, I guess a darker purple on it, which looks great. So let's actually take the... Um, the Hot Topic exclusive out, or Hot Topic exclusive out of the box is what I'm trying to say, just so we can compare the two and uh, see what they look like, you know, non-metallic and metallic. I really, really do like this pop. Really cool and, um, how they did it and the detail and everything like that. So here they are side by side, guys. So like I said, it is the same pop, guys, just metallic, and you can notice little differences. Um, how, you know, this one obviously looks a little bit more shiny. A little bit more glossy in different areas. Comment down below though, which one do you prefer? Uh, the metallic or the non-metallic, if you guys even like metallic pops nonetheless. So here's the back there, and the biggest difference on the back here 
is the actual uh, straw hat. Obviously a little bit more like golden looking, I'd say, versus the regular one looking tannish. And then you also can see the red that's more glossy and metallic-y looking versus the normal traditional red. So nonetheless, guys, still a very, very solid looking pop. And I love the, I love the more metallic red. I think it looks better. It looks more like a salmon to me personally, but it's really a really, really cool one. Next up guys, we do have Sabo here. So Sabo is actually a really cool character. Not a character I knew about until the actual pop came out. Well, I, I technically knew about him, but I hadn't gotten to a point in One Piece yet of him because my brother told me about him. And then when the pop came out, it reminded me of him. So essentially he actually does have the flame flame fruit that he got from Ace after Ace died. Absolutely love that. So essentially Yasabo, for those who don't know or those who are curious, um, he is actually essentially not a blood brother of the two, of Luffy and Ace, but he is actually kind of like a, uh, it's like a bond brothership essentially. They're like, hey, we're brothers essentially versus actually being blood brothers, which nonetheless, it's still pretty cool. And I really do like this pop. I like the flame on the pipe like ends. I think it looks great. Um, originally, I thought it was a staff, but it is actually a, a pipe after looking it up, which is cool. He does have the scar on the eye, which looks great. So let's take him out of the box. He does not actually currently have another pop to compare him to, um, unfortunately. So this is the only one, but it is cool that they decided to go with a new character, which I really do like. Um, I really want the Zoro pop to come out though, personally. I really hope that's rumored still for 2022, like I said, and they're just having some issues with the actual pop nonetheless. But it is just disappointing because I was really looking forward to that Zoro pop. So this one, this Sabo pop actually does have a base stand, guys. He looks very top heavy for sure. Um, this is his little base stand. Let me take a look at him first. That's cool. So he does have the little goggles on top of the little top hat there. The scar looks really cool and really detailed. Is it lifted a little bit? Oh, they actually lifted it slightly in detail and you can kind of feel that. That's cool. Love the fire at the end of the pipe. The pipe's a little bent left rather than straight, but the paint job overall is really good. Even the buckle detail is great. That's awesome. That's so cool. They got the hair down really well as well. You know, it's funny when my brother originally told me about Sabo here, I thought I was like, is that just Sanji in a hat? Cause he looks so similar. Um, but nonetheless, guys, really, really solid. So let me show you Sabo there. Again, he does have the flame flame fruit. That's really cool. You can guys see the fire. The fire is a little translucent. If it'll show it, let me put my hand behind it so it'll focus on it a little bit. But if you guys see that, the fire is a little translucent at the tips, which looks great. I feel like they should have made a little bit more. He is a missed opportunity for a glow in the dark pot because typically Funko does do glows on when they have like little fire or things like that. Maybe we'll see like a glow in the dark variant in the future, Amazon, GameStop or whatever it might be exclusive to. That would be really cool. But I feel like they should have made this one a glow pop. They typically do do that. So I was surprised they didn't. Really, really solid pop though, guys. I really do like this. So I want to see if he stands. I want to see if he stands without his base stamp. You know, it's funny, he actually does stand fine just putting him on the desk, but I guess just to kind of reinforce him, we can put the base stand on him, and you guys will see how well he stands on the actual, you know, 360 spin, but yeah, he stands really great, and he looks great out of box. Even his boot detail is awesome. This is a really, really awesome pop. Did you guys pick this one up? Let me know. Next up, guys, we do have Crocodile here. So Crocodile, obviously, he is one of the seven warlords of the sea. And I just realized that he is crazy damage. Well, not crazy damage, but he does have a really bad crease down the end there. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that, but it's pretty bent in, unfortunately. No big deal, though. It's still a cool character, and um, I probably, I, I'm not going to make a big fuss about it, to be honest. Still cool character. I'm happy to actually finally receive it, to be honest. All right, so Crocodile here, love the scar going across his face. So this one was actually funny. What they did with this one is they changed the detail last minute and then released a new glam and this glam actually didn't have Zoro. And I talked about this in a previous video. Anyways, guys, on his actual hook there in the box, it was more of a bronze color. I don't know why they decided to go against the bronze and went with more of a, like a yellow, not even golden really. They just took away the bronze and I thought the bronze looked way better for an actual hook hand. And it was just a detail that I feel like, nah, like they could have made it metallic even. And I feel like it's a missed detail personally that they took away. Nonetheless, he's an awesome pop, awesome character. 
obviously a villain, very mean, sadistic character, but still pretty cool. And he also is holding a little sandstorm in his hand, which is cool. A little sand tornado, whatever it's really called. Um, and then he does have the cigar in the mouth. This is a solid pop though. I'll give you guys kind of like a side view of the actual pop. This is really, really cool. All right, so let's take him out of box if I can actually get him out of here. There we go. So essentially what Crocodile's devil fruit power is, is sand that he basically creates and controls sand and he can turn his body into sand and everything like that and that's a really really cool one to be honest show you guys first for a change he had the scar on the face they actually put a mouth on this pop which they pick and choose who they give mouths to and i feel like that's very weird either like give them all one or not one i like the cigar sticking out of his mouth i think that's really cool and i really do even think they got his outfit down really well again missed opportunity to keep that hook bronze i think it was better bronze but still, at the end of the day, we still got the pop either way, and I'm happy about that. They even put the little rings on his finger. I don't know if you guys can see that. If I can get that to focus. The rings on the bottom of his finger, that's really cool. That's a cool detail they didn't have to add, but they did. The cape, or really his coat, just kind of like over his shoulders like that looks really cool. They put the buttons there, which looks nice. This is a solid pop. Even his shoe detail is really awesome. And they got his slim like physique as well, and more built looks cool. The hair slicked back looks really great. If you guys can kind of see that. I think the detail in that's really nice. I like that. You guys see his coat? They even got the, they even put the little arm holes, the arm loops or whatever you want to call it. That looks cool. I'm trying to show you guys all angles. This is a solid pop. I'm glad they went with his character. I think this is really awesome. Yeah, this is great. They did a lot of detail on him. They did him justice for sure. Other than the hook. I just really wanted the bronze. It looks so much better. Yeah, he's awesome. Comment down below your thoughts on this one, guys. Do you guys like Crocodile as a character? Do you hate him? Did you pick up the pop? Let me know. Next up, guys, we do have Bone Kichi, AKA Brooke here from One Piece. This is a really cool pop as well. So this is also him in his Wano outfit. He actually does have the arrow sticking out of his head, which is actually pretty funny. I find that hilarious. So essentially what Brooke's devil fruit is, and you probably know this by now, is his is the revive revive fruit, and that's how he ended up being a skeleton. It's still cool though. I mean, it's not one of the coolest like devil fruit powers out there, but it's still cool, you know, because he's not immortal, unfortunately. Which I feel like if you're revived, you should just be immortal. Just kind of slip that in there. I don't know. It's still cool. I think it's also cool to have an affordable Brooke because the con exclusives for the shared sticker, 350, the official sticker, like five to $600. So I'm, I'm good with my $10 brook here, to be honest. I almost brought, I almost bought a con brook the other day, but I talked myself out of it, which was good because it was $320. Oh boy, that was expensive. I actually need him and a few others and I practically, oh, just dropped brook, but I need him. I have, I already have, um, Tony Tony Chopper here, the 2016 Grail, and then also Trafalgar Law, the Grail there too. So he's the last big Grail I need, and then I'm done with the Grails, and I just need some of the commons like Usopp, Nami, and a few other other characters. And then I'm practically done with One Piece. I've just been taking my time with it because I collect so many different shows, so many different animes and things like that, that when you're collecting multiple things, you tend to not stick to a specific thing. Anyways, guys, let's actually... <clears throat> Anyways, guys, let's show off Brooke here. So his hands are kind of like this, which is pretty cool. He has the three arrows sticking out, one of his chest, one kind of in his, like, it's over here, but kind of in his shoulder a little bit, and then also the one sticking out of his uh, afro there, which looks cool. So there is Brooke here. That's awesome. They even got the little um, little cracked skeleton, or scra cracked skull look is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying not to let it focus on my face. Arrow sticking out is really cool detail. That's awesome. Yeah, guys, his sandals are really cool as well. They did a good job with this pop. In terms of detail, like compared to some of the other pops, there's not crazy much because it's just a skull with hair and arrow. Well, I mean, I guess when I start listing off the detail, there's a lot. But his uh, kimono slash robe there looks really cool as well. All kind of tattered up with holes in it. I love the arrow sticking out. That's my favorite part. That's so cool. They did a really, really uh, great job with him as well. All the paint is really good on it too, especially the black in the eyes and the white. This is awesome. 
Did you guys pick this one up? I'd love to know because the reason I'm asking that is just because certain people uh, just pick different ones in the set. They didn't order them all. So I'm curious to see which ones you guys did order or if you ordered all, you know, all the four new commons and some of the exclusives. All right, guys. So the last one we do have to show off is the Luffy Gear 4 Chalice Collectibles exclusive. Literally probably the best pop in this actual set in terms of detail and one of the most detailed anime pops just in current existence. We have a few of the cool Naruto ones coming soon that look really, really good. That Trafalgar Law looks great as well. But this Cure 4 Luffy is absolutely nuts. Again, guys, I did do a real full in-depth review. If you guys do want to check that out on the channel, it is in my anime review section if you want to check that out. It's, it's like a 12-minute video. It's actually in-depth, and I really looked at the pop. We're going to do a quick review of it here just because I've already reviewed it. But it's so great that I wanted to just include it in this video as well. Oh, it's such a beautiful pop. So essentially gear for uh, Bounce Man Luffy here. And it's so amazing with the smoke all around it. This could have been a really cool glow pop as well. They could have made the eyes like glow all white and then the smoke all around him glowing as well. This is so freaking cool. They could have made the uh, like the red on his chest as well glow. And his arms kind of glow red as well with the hockey on there. This is such a sick pop. And if you do not currently own this, I highly recommend it. It is metallic as well for anybody wondering. You have the straw hat on the back as well, kind of like the Luffy Taro pop. Like I'm showing you it in the video guys, but this thing's insane in person. So if you're a big Luffy fan, I highly recommend this pop because it's one of the best Luffy pops currently out. And it's absolutely beautiful and a really cool detail that they actually did do. So his hand doesn't actually scrape against his face. They put a little piece of plastic there to stop that. And that's actually really cool. So I actually do have two of these currently. I unboxed the special edition sticker one and then I had already bought the chalice one that was delayed. So I bought the special edition one to review early. Um, so I will be keeping the chalice one and just getting rid of the special edition one because I don't need two. But again, like I said, I highly recommend picking yourself up one. All right, guys, so that was the brand new One Piece Wave review that you guys kept asking me for. I hope you did enjoy this video. It was really fun to unbox all of these. I'm very excited for these because I've been waiting forever. I am so still excited for the new Dragon Ball Wave coming soon. And was there one more anime? Because we did Naruto, Dragon Ball. I didn't do Bakugan. I, didn't, I decided not to do Bakugan. I feel like I'm missing something, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. I think we just have Dragon Ball Z left. And then obviously we have the new Naruto pops coming soon, like Anbu Kakashi. Uh, we have the new Trafalgar Law coming, Renegon Sasuke. And then there's a few other rumored anime pops like uh, My Hero Academia and more. But yeah, I think, I think we just have Dragon Ball left from GameStop that I'm waiting on. And I think those come in August. Hopefully they do because some of those exclusives look great, especially the Metallic Vegito. So if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below and comment down below what was your favorite pop from this new wave. Again, we're still waiting on Zoro and Trafalgar Law from this actual set with the chase. And when I do get those in, I'll definitely be reviewing those for you guys. If I get any other updates on Zoro, I will definitely update you guys. That cricket is very loud outside. <laughs> but nonetheless, guys, thank you so much for watching again. I really do appreciate it. However, guys, I do want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for supporting me and continuing to support me on this channel and in the future it, it's really awesome and i really do appreciate it guys it means a lot to me that somebody would go out of their way to support me in that way so again thank you so much if you guys want to check out the patreon link is always down below i also want to tell you guys to make sure to be following the facebook group it's buy sell and trade and you can make a ton of friends and follow my social medias instagram twitter and tiktok all at skittle rampage all right i love you guys see you guys in the next one see you guys later bye